cook. Welcome to our cafe. Everyone, welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Ho -ho! I've just been working out in our vegetable patch. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How's it looking out there, Ben? Oh, I tell you what, little cook, the carrots have gone mad. Ho -ho! <laughs> the more we pick, the more they grow. Look at this lot. Wow! We'll never eat all those, Ben. Oh, I know, little cook, and we can't put carrots in all our recipes, can we? <laughs> what can we do with them? Hmm. Oh, I know, I know, Ben. Why don't we take them down the pet shop? Their rabbits will love those. Good idea, little cook. But I think even their rabbits would have trouble eating all the carrots in our garden. What we need is a bigger animal, Ben, like a donkey. Hey, Ben, can we buy a pet donkey? They love carrots. <laughs> <laughs> I think our garden's a bit small for a donkey, little cook. <laughs> it would be nice to have a pet, though. What could we have? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know what I'd choose. My favourite animal. It's big. It's grey and it's got big flappy ears <laughs> and a long trunk. <laughs> Can you guess what it is? It makes a terrific noise like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. It's an elephant. <laughs> an elephant, little cook. <laughs> I think an elephant would trample all over the carrots and everything else. <laughs> Where would he sleep? Anywhere he likes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to think about pets later, little cook. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? Well, our customer's a pet, Ben. Oh, is it a furry pet? Oh, no, it's not at all furry. Hmm. Oh, well, does it live in a cage? No, it lives in a tank. Aha, I know. It's a fish. You're right, Ben. It's a goldfish and his name's Gupta and he's in one of my stories. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I went to visit my friend Holly. She was very worried about her two pet goldfish, Gupta and Grace. They're usually really lively, she told me. But one day last week, they started looking a bit sad, and now they just swim slowly round and round, and they don't seem at all well. The fish were in a large tank of clean water. They look very well cared for, I said. Oh, yes, said Holly. We made sure we got a big tank for them, with plenty of room for them to swim, and we put in some gravel and some big stones and this little arch so they had somewhere to play. I feed them special fish food every two days. Not too much, though. I clean their tank out every week and I've put some water plants in because the plants help the fish to breathe in the water. I was puzzled. Holly was looking after her fish really well. So what could be the matter? Have you moved their tank? I asked. No, said Holly. Well, has anything in the room been moved? Holly thought for a moment. Yes, she said. There used to be a radio on the shelf there, but Mum took it upstairs. Then I had an idea and I asked Holly to fetch the radio. We put it back on the shelf, turned it on and music filled the room. Straight away, Gupta and Grace perked up and started to dash around the tank. Whoopee! They played chase with each other. They copied each other. They moved backwards and forwards together. 
It's almost as if they're dancing. I laughed. <laughs> That's why they were so sad, said Holly. They were missing the music. And so, with the radio back in its proper place, Gootser and Grace were as happy as can be. Little Cooks at a Rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Oh, I'm glad Gupta and Grace perked up. They looked very sad before Holly brought that radio back. Way! Well, there's nothing like a nice bit of music to cheer you up, Ben. Unless it's a nice bit of nosh. Ho -ho! <laughs> and speaking of nosh, we need to think of what to cook for your friend Gupta. You're right, Ben. Now, what would a goldfish like to gobble? <laughs> mm. Oh! oh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Now then, what do we have here? Look, Ben, this is perfect! Fish tank quiche! See, there are water plants and two goldfish, just like Gupta and Grace! Hey, hey, great! Well, you read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need eggs. Eggs over in the fridge. Here we go. Open up. Eggs. Yes, there we go. Got the egg small. Single cream. Oh, single cream. Nice and creamy. There we are. Got the cream. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Oh, I love cheese. Here we go. A nice triangle of cheese. Got it. A packet of short crust pastry. Oh, pastry, pastry. Yes, we've got some of that. Definitely pastry. A red pepper. Red pepper, red pepper, here we are, got the red pepper, yes, lovely and juicy. Black olives. Black olives in here, got the olives, little cook. And some broccoli. Broccoli, broccoli, oh, right, um, we haven't got any broccoli, little cook. Could we use carrots instead? No, we can't use carrots instead, Ben. The broccoli is meant to be the water plants in the fish tank, see, look. Oh. Carrots would look very strange in a fish tank. I know, I'd better whiz off and get some broccoli. Good idea, little cook. And while you're away, I'll get everything ready. Great. See you later. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Well, hey! I'm at a farm. Today, these farmers are picking some broccoli. Broccoli grows out of the ground. It's a vegetable and is very good for you. That's the part you eat. They're called broccoli florets. They look like little trees. <laughs> That broccoli isn't big enough to pick yet. Oh, but that one is. The farmers have picked lots of broccoli and now they take it to sell at the farm shop. I wonder what this lady is going to buy. Oh, some carrots. And some of the broccoli. Remember to eat your vegetables. Bye. Mmm. These carrots are delicious. Mmm. Really sweet. Mm. I wish we could find a way to put them into our fish tank recipe. <laughs> I'm back. Mm. <laughs> did you find some broccoli, Small? I certainly did, Ben. And here it is. Woohoo! Oh, wow! Ho oh. ho! The broccoli was growing out of the ground in a field. It looked like little trees. <laughs> but now we've got all the ingredients, what are we waiting for? We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. 
Jelly boats and pirates gold Princess pea pies Carrot cakes and fruit smiles As envelopes surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fish tank quiche? You do? There were eggs. Three. Single cream. 275 millilitres. Cheddar cheese. 100 grams, finely grated. Short crust pastry. One packet. Black olives. One. A red pepper. Half. And some broccoli. A few florets. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot! What shall I do, Ben? Uh, could you beat an egg for me in your little bowl, Small? It'll be my pleasure! <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Now, I've already rolled out this pastry here, and I've cut off a few strips around the edges. So I'm going to carefully... Pop the pastry onto a greased baking tin. There! A beaten egg! Great! And now, with a pastry brush, I'm going to smooth the egg around the edges of the pastry. Like this. And this is going to help the pastry strips to stick on. So, put them over. There we are. This one and the longer ones. There. And the last one. Now, they need to go all the way around the edges to make a little wall to keep the filling inside. And always remember to wash your hands if you handle raw egg. Now, what's next, little cook? You have to put a sheet of greaseproof paper over the pastry and then weigh it down with some baking beans, like dried kidney beans. That stops the pastry from rising when it's cooked. OK, I've done that. So now we can put them in the oven. So, oven gloves on and over we go. There we are. Open up and pop them inside. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Now it's time to make the broccoli water tank and the pepper goldfish. I'll do the goldfish. <laughs> right, now, I've just put some water on to boil and that's another grown-up helper job. So now it's time for the broccoli. You'll need the florets. They're little sprigs and I've just cut them in half. Cut two fish shapes out of the red pepper, so they look like these. And now the broccoli florets need to steam for a couple of minutes. Pop them in, and on goes the lid. The pastry and the broccoli are cooked and cooled. What's next, little cook? Whisk up the other two eggs with the cream and cheddar cheese. OK, in go the eggs. The cheese. And the cream. Oh, this smells lovely. And here we go. Ho oh, ho, I'm whisking. Round and round. Whisk it all up. Right, that's nice and whisked up now. So, we can pour the eggy mixture into the pastry. In it goes. Very nice. That should do. Now you can put the broccoli plants and the fish in the tank, Ben. OK, Small. Here we go. Broccoli plants going in. One there. I think I'll put a little one over here. Just there. And one there. Oh, that looks good. And I think we can pop the fish in here. 
and here. Great. So now we can pop it into the oven for 40 minutes. So oven gloves on and over we go. Open up, pop them in. There. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for 40 minutes. Ben, I've been thinking about what pet we should get. We can't get a big pet like a donkey. <laughs> or an elephant. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about a small animal like an ant? <laughs> an ant? Oh, no, an ant's far too small, little cook. And I might step on it. <laughs> I've always wanted a dog. Well, I'd love a dog too, but they're always wanting walks. <laughs> and we're always so busy in the cafe. Oh, that's true. Oh, we're never going to find the right pet for us at this rate. The quiche is cooked and cooled now, so it's just time for the finishing touch. I'm going to put two slices of black olive onto the fish to make their fishy eyes. There we go. That looks brilliant! It certainly does. I hope Gupta the goldfish enjoys his meal. One fish tank quiche coming through! Ah, <sighs> there. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all <laughs> Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while Cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes, it looks like Gupta the goldfish enjoyed his fish tank key small. Look, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. The fish tank quiche was delicious! Woohoo! I'm leaving you a little thank you present, which might sort out your pet problems from Gup to the Goldfish. Oh, I wonder what it is. Look, Small! It's our very own fish tank with two little wind up fish in it. Great! <laughs> Gupta's got us the perfect pets. They're not too big, and they're not too small. They don't need walking, and they don't even need feeding. Oh, <laughs> what should we call them? I'm going to call mine broccoli. And I'm going to call mine carrot. Oh, well, broccoli and carrot, welcome to the cafe, the best cafe in the world. I'm <laughs> sure you'll be very happy here. <laughs> See, See you, you soon. soon. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. <laughs> 